Oh, thanks. We get Lou Ogden Tualatin. Um, it, it is certainly a Pandora's box, and there's this entire bailiwick. But there are there are two key issues that we believe our citizens support across the state broadly, and and that is a couple of inequities that that Mayor Bemis mentioned, and, and specifically, and, and and these are tenants advanced by the League of Oregon Cities as well. First of all, uh, reset at sale. A, a house that was built or a building that was built prior to 1995. My house was built in 1981, so the assessed value is locked in at 1995, 18, 1995 rates. You have a house that was built in 2010, market assessed exactly the same value, you're being taxed at 2010 rates. So you might be paying twice the tax for houses that have exactly the same assessed value. No one wants to be in that situation um, to have be paying twice as much taxes as their next door neighbor. The other one is ballot measure five actually allows bond measures to be outside the caps. The theory there is people get to vote on a bond measure, so they don't need to be protected by the caps. That doesn't apply to operating levies. So we're asking the operating levies be also outside the, the caps. So if a local community wants to vote to have operational money for their swimming pool and not close it down, and they're already at compression limits or at the caps, they can't do that. So it, it, they're simply providing equity to the taxpayers and the opportunity for local communities, the, the taxpayers, the voters in those communities, to make decisions on spending. I have a couple of questions. 